Taking it into the primetime, two primetime games on Tuesday night, the first of which will take us to Petco Park in San Diego, UCLA and NC State. The Wolfpack favored by one over under of 59 and a half. I got a couple. I've got one. Well, let's, you guys go first. <laughs> go ahead, Chip. I'm going Wolfpack. Man. I thought I knew you were going to go that way. I thought we were going to be ACC boys. Give me the Bruins. Fight, fight, fight. You're going with Devin Larry, going with Dave Dorn, Mr. Business. Like you're Yeah. I mean, this is the the general everyone's coming back. Like Iki Aquanu, I think, is off to the NFL, but for the most part, the whole NC State buzz has been all about this um the the unfinished business narrative the, the the idea that they beat Clemson but fell short of an ACC championship I whether some of the names that put together and I say this with love the very well designed graphics of how they were turning down the NFL draft and returning were these same players going to be going in the first or second or third round maybe not but they were draft eligible and they are choosing not to pursue the NFL so that they can stay in Raleigh and chase an ACC championship next season. And I think that NC state making the trip across the country, this, first of all, this is one of the big, like, yo, I, I would pay attention to your availability for any of these post Christmas days, post Christmas games, especially ones that involve moving through airports and, and a big time travel across the country. I mean, it, could get a little bit dicey here, but I I think that um, NC State comes in and uses this as an opportunity to make a statement. I would I see that as as UCLA a team that peaked here with Dorian Thompson Robinson uh, with the the sort of seniors and upperclassmen that have been riding this with Chip Kelly. Where NC State it seems like they are creating another chapter where you are kind of trying to use the game to build it for the future. So uh, so give me the Wolfpack. I also so here's why I have UCLA. Dorian Thompson Robinson quietly had a pretty nice year. 21 touchdowns, mm-hmm. six interceptions. Yeah. When they lost to Oregon, Utah, back to back, remember we talked about it's it like, uh oh, like what does this mean? How much pressure is on this program? Chip Kelly, where does it go? They went out and went out pretty impressively. Then Chip Kelly flirts with Eugene. You know who knows how realistic that was, but he comes back. I don't know. I feel like this might be a healthier UCLA team mentally than we think. And playing closer to home, I think they'll have a little bit more. Not that bold like crowds matter that much, but I do think it'll be closer to home for them. So that's why I like them. I'm living dangerously in this game. I'm not going to mess with the spread. I'm taking the under 60. I'm, I think that was my second one. Yeah. Oh, so we're in agreement then? Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, I just think that's a little bit too high. NC State unders have been pretty good. They got a good defense. We talk a lot about Devin Leary and, you know, Bam Knight, Nemeka Mezzi, and they, they've got a lot of weapons. Looks really good on paper. But a lot of those NC State games really come down to uh, the defensive front being able to impose its will. So uh, NC State and the under are my plays. And, Danny, I'm sorry to let you know, but Fight. Bud's on the pack. Ooh. He likes Devin Leary, though. He yeah. likes Devin Leary. I do, too. Yeah. I love Devin Leary.